2022 started out good. I was a normal teenager, full of laughter, full of joy, normal 18 year old. But by the 10th, I looked like this. And here's my story. I thought I had food poisoning. Turns out, I didn't. I have Crohn's disease, leading my bowel to rupture, four surgeries, dialysis three days a week, and a hospital stay for over a month. Yeah, that's a lot, I know. But the hospital stay wasn't that bad. Here's some memories. Before I move on, it's important for me to mention that I coded, but God wasn't ready for me yet. So I stayed in the hospital for over a month. And you know what? It wasn't that bad. From late night fevers, to ice baths, to just being around family, friends coming to visit, amazing doctors, amazing nurses, people taking care of me. God knew what was meant to happen at the time that it happened. The late night calls with my mother, with FaceTime with my friends, with FaceTime with my choir members, with prayers from everyone. It's cool. Now that, that was not bad at all. Thank you so much. You look lovely. You look like you're happy to see me. I started walking. So the doctor told me to stop. I'll get back in time. I forgot to explain why they said I couldn't walk. My heart rate was too high. I had fluid around my heart, okay. leading to my fourth surgery. But no worries about that. I'm good. Well, I'm nauseous. Don't feel sick. Okay. So I had the procedure done. Let's just say it was painful. <laughs> Enough of the sad. Time outside it over a month. Yeah. It's so beautiful. Over a month! I was getting my voice back, so the only person I can praise is the one and only God who is my strength. Reaches to me in the fullness of
more friends and family visits, FaceTime club. My favorite people. Well, I am home after a month and a half in the hospital. I wish I could say that coming home, I felt amazing. That would be a lot. To start off, my mom's tire popped, so I spent probably about six hours in the car just to get home. I spent half that time crying because I have an ileostomy bag, and now it's in the real world. I have to go to dialysis three days a week still. I will still probably spend days crying because my life has changed. It's different. I will spend days crying happy tears because I still have a life to live. I have a life that I know I can keep pushing forward. I can keep making a change. I will change the world for the better. And I have that opportunity now because God has blessed me with that. So at the beginning of this, whole thing I said this is my story nah this isn't my story this is my testimony of how good God is